1992, I left this place and I didn't come back and that's why I didn't even see some of my family. I went with my school and with a lot of difficulties, they decided to take us when the, the war was completely intensified in the town. So they decided to take us to the north. I was, I was in the Catholic Church trying to become a, 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 a religious brother, which I became a religious brother. I got accepted and I went to the United States. I got resettled in the state of Maine. Asirela was founded in 1995 by a group of Sudanese refugees in the United States. We built a school in Uganda which was running, helping the refugees in the camp because they were teachers, a group of teachers and the workmen and they paid them some, some money so that they can continue teaching all those kids. And uh, to now, as the, the, the people are returning back to Southern Sudan, people thought it is good that we also build a school in Southern Sudan. We have only two buildings over there, that is roof building, and one long building is not yet roof. And we are hoping to raise money so that we, we finish the building so that this, the children start classes over there. We have about a thousand South Sudanese immigrants who have formed an organization called Asarela. And I became involved with them about three years ago uh, some of their children were on sports teams with my children, and I knew that when I was thinking about developing a program that we needed to have a partner. And uh, that partner eventually has become uh, the Massachusetts General Hospital. Uh, our division, uh, under the leadership of Dr. Thomas Burke, who's an emergency physician here, uh, really started doing work in South Sudan uh, several years ago. And so uh, after uh, an assessment that we did to really go into South Sudan and to understand uh, the capacity for uh, maternal, newborn, and, and child health care, uh, which we conducted, um, we, des we designed an original uh, intervention that comprised uh, uh, targeted training, uh, pictorial uh, checklists, and uh, a group of commodities or, 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 or supply kits that uh, frontline health workers could, could use. This program that is uh, happening this week uh, is training 15 traditional birth attendants who have had no previous training whatsoever. That program gets to the heart of what needs to happen gradually in South Sudan, and that is to gradually develop uh, more medical capacity. There are only 10 fully trained um, obstetricians in the entire uh, country of 8 million people. Uh, Acelera is an association for self-reliance, and Acelera has no boundary. Uh, our mission is to change the life of the community. In Uganda, we assisted very many tribes. We were able to offer education regardless of who you are. And we want to carry the same culture back to South Sudan here, where the refugees have come back. We serve the community. This project is a very good project because this is going to be the first of its kind in life. Remember, one of the chiefs says he's around 60. And, uh, this is the first of its kind that is experiencing such a training here. Uh -huh. Gloves. Gloves? Yes, you need to have you need to you need to have gloves. Why do you want to have gloves? Uh, this morning we're talking to some of the women uh, whom we used as part of the uh, model eh, for the women to examine. Uh, one of them gave birth to four children and it's only one who is alive. Uh, one of them had four children also. There's only two who are alive. So it is great for us to have such a training with such opportunity that has come and uh, the committee is so happy.
all of the reusable equipment that they're given um, holds up in the field. Uh, they have a backpack that they're given to put this equipment in. And the expectation is that uh, from this time on, after uh, the training, that they can recognize birth com complications and transfer women early uh, to the central hospital for further obstetric care, or uh, can deal more effectively with more minor emergencies that come up during routine deliveries that in this region are, are often life-threatening. And because they are illiterate, the entire program is taught uh, in a pictorial way. Uh, there are flip charts. Uh, the pictorial program uh, very logically uh, brings the women from normal labor and delivery to uh, minor complications, to major complications that require transfer to care of the infant at birth. The MNCS curriculum was developed here uh, in, uh, in Boston. So this was a carefully uh, designed uh, package uh, that, we, uh, that we pilot tested uh, and vetted and, and then um, were able to be uh, deployed uh, in November of 2010 is when we conducted our first training uh, of trainers um, session. One of the topics is maternal mortality in, in South Sudan and then we have the major causes of uh, maternal and neonatal illnesses and we have also a topic like uh, neonatal death, what are the major causes of neonatal death in South Sudan. And uh, we also looked at the malnutrition being one of the causes of child mortality and uh, we see how to recognize malnutrition among children in South Sudan. And also we give the bath attendants uh, ways of conducting clean, safe deliveries and uh, here we, we teach them the, the skills of resuscitating a newborn baby using the ambu bag or the breathing bag. Topic like uh, how to recognize danger signs in labor and uh, also how to recognize danger signs in pregnancy. And uh, we also looked at postpartum hemorrhage, like bleeding after delivery. And the key things they ask to have a healthy pregnancy. A pregnant mother is supposed to sleep under treated mosquito net to prevent malaria, because the malaria is so severe among children and the pregnant mother. So we need to say how effective are these uh, these equipments we supplied for conducting delivery save or reduce maternal mortality. We need to make a follow-up and uh, continue conducting refresher training for these health workers. Uh, we have some preliminary data uh, that have been published that, that demonstrates that um, these frontline health workers are uh, absorbing and retaining uh, the, the knowledge and skills that, that, we've, that we've taught them. So, uh, given how, how many um, uh, health workers we've trained um, in such a rapid time frame, we're very pleased with what we've, what we've seen so far. By then, we don't know if you, a, a mother gave birth to a baby and the baby will not breathe. And the good thing we get, we have got some instrument now for helping the babies. Like a woman give birth, and then she has a heavy bleeding. And they have now taught us how to prevent that bleeding. Now I hope if Saskan can continue, I wish you could have, you will bring for us more training so that people will not even forget. And then we add on the skills so that it will reduce at least some deaths in our community. 
Our plan is to form what they call the Village Health Council or committee. And this committee will be responsible to identify, to manage, to inform stakeholders about the community health situation of an area. If you have one additional service, what would it be? For, uh, for us here, yeah, we need is for we go for training for school and training for community health workers. Another thing is for the small baby, which is uh, the no weight, like good feeding for for small baby. We always try to see that those children could have a good access to education and to health. Because if we don't do that, I see that there will be no life for them. You know, we're conducting some additional um, trainings in, in other parts of, of South Sudan that we have planned uh, uh, in 2012 and 2013. Um, but we're definitely in the uh, strategic planning stage for the next phase of this, this program. All of the funding has come from Portland, Maine. So I, I would like to thank uh, not only uh, the people in, in Southern Maine, uh, but also uh, uh, we, we reached out to relatives, uh, friends outside of Maine who actually have been very, uh, very interested in supporting the work here and uh, we hope that they can continue to help on a long-term basis. Because of we are so